Hey everybody, this is uh, Bill Heisinga, obviously, uh, in Washington, not in West Michigan, uh, hoping uh, to head back home uh, this afternoon, but I gotta tell you, uh, I'm gonna be walking in for our last vote uh, here momentarily, and I am just flabbergasted that uh, my Democrat colleagues are going to be voting affirmative on this on this bill, and, and here's one of the reasons why. Um, this is this is uh, this is the state of play, where not only are we going into debt for our own country, we're now going to be going into debt for other countries. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to and this is kind of a little awkward, but I'm going to read a statement that I had intended to read on the House floor, uh, but uh, the uh, the Democrat majority limited. Uh, our time this morning to of one minutes and so uh, I wasn't able to get that done uh, so I'm gonna do it here with you now and, uh, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about this so here's uh, here's my statement that I intend uh, and uh, on the house floor I rise in opposition to the partisan bill we have been debating the past couple of days under language inserted at the Rules Committee the US would direct the International Monetary Fund the IMF to lavish $3 trillion on countries around the world. This is a permanent, no strings attached liquidity for foreign governments. The Democrats bill would therefore send it at least $20 billion to the world's for foremost state sponsor of terrorism, Iran. It means at least 17 billion for the Assad regime in Syria. There's also more than $170 billion for the Chinese Communist Party as it takes over Hong Kong and builds internment camps, and another $75 billion for Russia. Meanwhile, an amendment I offered to prevent Americans' banks from financing Iranians uh, who have been sanctioned for terrorism and human rights abuses wasn't even made in order by the Rules Committee. Strange priorities from the Democrats. It's obscene to attach billions of dollars for China, Russia, and state sponsors of terrorism to legislation that funds our military. I urge a vote, uh, no vote on this bill, and I'm going to be voting no. And uh, th this, is, this is to fund our military, and we are going to be directing the IMF, which, by the way, I, I had jurisdiction over at one point uh, when I chaired uh, one of the subcommittees on financial services. Uh, that was, it was called the Monetary Policy and, and Trade uh, Subcommittee. And so I'm very familiar with the IMF, very familiar with the good work it does, and very familiar with the bad work that it does. And I'm telling you, directing them to go spend $3 trillion on countries like China and, and, and Syria and Russia is, is lunacy. It's completely nuts. So uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a problem. We have to deal with it. Um, I hope the Senate... I don't have great uh, I don't have great expectations out of Michigan's two senators, but I'm hoping that someone in the Senate realizes how foolish this is and what we would be doing uh, if uh, if if we moved ahead with this. And uh, so again, no hearing in the committee. It got inserted in at the Rules Committee. My amendment that would that wouldn't allow American banks and therefore our deposits as American taxpayers be used to uh, to fund Iranian terrorists. Uh, was rejected. They wouldn't even take up my amendment. Yet they slid in a three a directive for three trillion, uh, three trillion dollars. It feels like a jillion, three trillion dollars of, uh, of of support for countries around the world when we can't even get an agreement here in the House and the Senate about what we're going to do with the extension of unemployment or any of the other spending that we're doing. So. Anyway, time to take a breath, but I, I, I just hope that uh, I, I just hope that cooler heads prevail over in the Senate and that uh, that they do not go in this direction. So, well, I'm uh, getting ready to uh, sorry, it just dropped. I'm getting ready to uh, walk on the House floor with my Zealand made Primera Plastics face shield. Uh, my uh, my friend uh, Noel Cuellar and his great team over there uh, pivoted uh, from moving from making uh, automotive parts uh, to face shields. And uh, so uh, I'm wearing that on the house floor. But uh, so, hey, everybody, I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy a little uh, time uh, out uh, uh, out in West Michigan. But uh, just just keep praying for our country. Keep praying for our government because we need it. We'll talk to you soon.